Joe Mullins for Industrial Strength Bluegrass, Southwestern Ohio's musical legacy. I'm in downtown Dayton on First Street. Dayton, Ohio has been a hub of industry and innovation for a couple of centuries now. Post-World War II saw a phenomenal Appalachian migration with folks coming to Dayton to get good jobs to make cars and cash registers and computers and refrigerators. In the early 40s, Robert and Daisy Osborne relocated their family from Leslie County, Kentucky to Dayton, Ohio. Robert Osborne took a job for NCR, National Cash Register, whose campus of industry was just south of where we are here in Dayton, Ohio. Behind me is Dayton's Memorial Hall. In 1947, Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys left Nashville on the Grand Ole Opry, did two sold out performances at Dayton's Memorial Hall. Bobby Osborne was a 15 year old who got to come with his dad to see that concert. Bobby had heard Monroe and Scruggs, Chubby Wise, Lester Flat, Howard Watts on the Grand Ole Opry. He wanted to see what they were doing and how they were doing it. Just a couple of years later, Bobby Osborne began his career as a teenager on radio just south of Dayton at the radio station in Middletown, Ohio. Dayton's history continued. In the 1950s, those folks filling all the jobs at the factories and industries in Dayton, they needed a place to blow off a little steam and wet their whistle. And just around the corner, you're gonna see some of the old buildings who have been repurposed through the years that at one time were the clubs, Little Mickey's, and the Blazing Stump and other choice night spots where the Osborne Brothers and the Brock Brothers and Red Allen and Noah Crace and Frank Wakefield produced industrial strength bluegrass music six or seven nights a week to some hardcore hillbillies who wanted to hear bluegrass music with some power and some passion. The bar scene in downtown Dayton is where the genre really took shape and where musicians could work hard every night and create music that inspired bluegrass for generations around the world from here in downtown Dayton. Also, just up the street from Dayton's Memorial Hall is the Canal Street Tavern. It was a hot spot, particularly in the 80s and 90s, for nationally known bluegrass artists to stop and perform. And our region produced the Dry Branch Fire Squad. Ron Thomason and his pickers had a regular gig at the Canal Street Tavern for many, many, many years. Dayton's premier arts and entertainment nonprofit organization, City Folk, was founded here and in Dayton's Memorial Hall in 1989. City Folk produced the Dayton Bluegrass Reunion with many of the names that I've mentioned already and my dad, the late Paul Moon Mullins and Larry Sparks, the Osborne brothers. We all performed at Dayton's Memorial Hall in 1989 and at that time when City Folk produced that all-star event that's when Dr. Neil V. Rosenberg wrote the foreword for that program and coined music made in, in the Miami Valley of Ohio as industrial strength bluegrass. All this information is in the book and in the recorded project entitled Industrial Strength Bluegrass. You can find out more on the World Wide Web at industrialstrengthbluegrass.com. I'm Joe Mullins. Thank you.